we going to see the pharmacological action on seven sites these are the seven sites okay on blood vessels heart glands uh, visceral smooth muscle cns autonomic ganglia adrenal medulla and sensory nerve okay so first of all we're going to start with the blood vessels so you know about the blood vessels right small blood vessels pe kaun se receptor hote hain both h1 and h2 receptors okay so what is the role of that dilation okay small vessels like which are the small vessels arteries capillaries and venules okay so in that if h1 is there they will cause the vaso they are also causing the vasodilation in we are talking about small vessels okay they are causing the vasodilation but how they are causing the vasodilation by release of nitric nitric oxide so how that nitric oxide get released by because of edrf edrf is nothing but endothelial releasing factor okay this endothelial releasing factor will going to uh, release the nitric uh, nitric oxide and that nitric oxide will cause the vasodilation next one h2 component which is present on the small blood vessels okay so in that again dilation will is there but here effect directly on the smooth muscle okay so here what happens they are acting indirectly means indirectly how they are acting they are releasing the nitric oxide and that nitric oxide will going to activate the uh, that will going to activate the uh, smooth muscle relaxation but here this h2 component directly present on the smooth muscle okay that how smooth muscle get relaxed by inhibiting the calcium release okay so they are acting directly and he, he these are acting indirectly by release of nitric oxide okay so next one about the capillary so what is the effect on the capillary they are increasing the permeability so permeability increase hoga to kya hoga there is a edema that is exudation of plasma and who is mediating that h1 right we already seen in the h1 that table okay and how they are doing by the separation of endothelial cells that is the cap formation in between the endothelial cell okay so now we have to see if we are if we have given the sc administration that is subcutaneously so what are the effect you are able to see in the blood vessels or we can say in body so what we are giving histamine directly as as a subcutaneously okay subcutaneous administration if we do so we are able to see the flushing okay flushing is nothing but a redness in that area because vasodilation to jahan pe vasodilation hota hai wo vasodilation wala area kya ho jata hai bahut zyada red hota hai okay heat will be there why heat will be there because more uh, fluid will enter in that area okay and that area will cause the more heating in that particular area inflammation okay in simply word you know about inflammation in inflammation there is a flushing there is a heat okay so why these kind of things occurs because of more uh, more uh, blood or we can say blood components that are entering in that injured area okay so wherever we are giving the injection in that particular area you are able to see the flushing and heat sensation okay so apart from that it also increase the heart rate in and uh, the this uh, cardiac output okay so they will have the effect on the heart rate as well as in the on the cardiac output if we'll give the uh, subcutaneous administration but overall the blood vessel effect we are able to see very less because it will uh, take slow means it will enters very slowly and their effect also very slow so that's why we are not able to get much uh, difference in the blood pressure but if we'll give the rapid iv injection you will able to see immediately fall in bp okay but this immediate fall in bp is due to two particular receptors one is h1 receptor and again h2 receptor so immediate wala jo fall in bp hai that is due to the h1 receptor and uh, if that uh, after some time also you are able to see uh, fee, feel the ball, uh, fall in blood pressure so fall in the blood pressure if there is prolonged in that cases h2 receptor is working so what is the things here he like uh, whenever we are giving the iv injection of histamine to jo histamine hai uh, which have the high affinity for h1 to pehle kya hoga jaise wo rapidly blood mein enter hoga they will going to activate the h1 receptor but this short acting they are very short acting so that's why whatever the binding will occur that binding will remain for short time so suddenly you will able to see the fall in bp and that sudden fall in the bp is due to h1 
but after some time this histamine will also going to bind on the h2 okay so after they are binding on the h2 you will able to see there is a slow but persistent fall in the bp okay so that is what the h1 and h2 uh, sensitivity or we can say affinity towards the histamine h1 have the high affinity towards the histamine h2 is a comparatively less than that of the uh, h1 okay one more thing if you are giving the low dose so and at the low dose you are only able to see the h1 effect okay means at the low dose because they are having the high affinity so whatever the histamine is available they will uh, go towards the h1 receptor and that short uh, short timing uh, fall in bp you are able to see with the low dose and if you are going to increase the high i means you, you will go towards the high dose in that cases it will going to act on both h1 receptor as well as on the h2 receptor okay so you should clear with it like jab bhi uh, fall in bp hoga okay due to the high dose we need to give the antihistaminic which will going to act on the both the receptor h1 as well as h2 receptor so that they can block the and uh, histamine receptor and the blood pressure will come back to the normal okay so and whenever there is a fall in bp due to the high histamine or high dose of histamine what we need to give antihistaminic which antihistaminic not only h1 we need to give the h2 histaminic antihistaminic also okay next one it also have effect on the blood vessel which are present in the brain and it depends upon the uh, lipid solubility of the drug okay if that uh, drug is able to cross the blood brain barrier then only we are able to see the dilation of the cranial blood vessels okay again how by this h1 and h2 receptors and what is the uh, effect of uh, histamine on the large arteries and vein there is a constriction okay and this constriction is due to h1 receptor as you can see the table again back here we already discuss about that right so all the same in the table is there in the pharmacological effect so just this is an summary okay we just seen the blood vessels other organ will going to see uh, after this so what are the effects on the blood vessels we'll revise quickly yes kya kya effect dekhe blood vessels pe so low dose rahega to kaun sa effect milega kaun se receptor pe h1 it's only h1 receptor if consider if there is a toxicity histamine toxicity is there or overdose is there so which kind of treatment you need to give there is a fall in bp I, fall I, in bp I, yes but in the iv also which kind of antihistaminic you have to give both h1 and h2 antihistamine yes right uh, what is the effect of uh, histamine on the larger blood vessels constriction vaso constriction okay so what is the effect of subcutaneous administration persistent fall in bp persistent fall in bp flushing okay flushing what else heat flushing heat increase in the heart rate and cardiac okay, output cardiac output yes okay uh, and uh, on the smaller blood vessels which are the receptors present which are the histaminic receptors present both both h1, h1 and h2. h2 right so what is the h1 effect direct or indirect indirect how indirect they will go to edrf edrf mm -hmm. or and nitric oxide okay vasodilation and what is the effect of the uh, h1 on the smooth muscles direct vasodilation direct vasodilation okay so good so we'll move further to the next effect on the blood vessel very important that you all are aware about this like whenever uh, histamine get released you will able to see the this triple response okay so what is this triple response like red spot wheel and flare so what is this red spot whenever you will inject the histamine okay intradermally especially the 
intradermally that time you will able to see such a response at that particular place okay so what is the first effect you will able to see that is a red spot okay at the red spot uh, why that red spot is there because histamine will going to cause the vasodilation in that area okay that direct vasodilation or we can say capillary which are present over there which undergo the dilation and due to that we are able to see the red spot and which receptor is responsible for that h1 receptor because capillary is also having the h1 receptor and they are causing the vasodilation after that what kind of things you are able to see you can see here spot after some times you are able to see the spot red spot then next step you will able to see the wheel okay wheel after 1 to 2 minute you will able to see on the same area okay so what is that wheel wheel is nothing but increase in the permeability okay and as we seen ki permeability kaise increase hota hai because increase in the gap between the endothelium and who will going to do that h1 receptor mediated effect okay so once that uh, wheel will occur the next uh, effect after some times you will able to see the flare okay and that is also h1 receptor mediated means no, not only this area other area surrounding to that also will get red okay and that due to the other blood vessels undergo the dilation okay uh, surrounding area surrounding uh, arterioles are there which undergo the dilation and these are also mediated by axon reflex okay the uh, afferent neurons which are present that afferent neuron is also responsible for flare so these are the triple response you will able to see whenever we are injecting the uh, intradermal or subdermal histamine in our body okay so next one we'll talk yeah effect on the other systems like you can see heart so what is the effect on the heart heart pe kaun se receptors the h2 receptor h2 receptor and what is the effect positive chronotropic inotropic and chronotropic that is rate and force of contraction get increase okay so next visceral uh, smooth muscle wahan pe kya effect tha smooth muscles contraction yes con contraction so where that present bronchoconstriction so it is like uh, those who are having the asthma they are very sensitive towards this histamine okay if we'll give the histamine to the asthmatic patient there more bronchoconstriction will occur okay and uh, which receptor is present or which uh, receptor is responsible for such a bronchoconstriction h1 h1 right so uh, again these if we are giving this histamine at the larger doses they can also produce the abdominal cramp even colic also okay why this will occurs because of contraction of smooth muscle which are present in the intestine on human uterus not much affected not significant effect but if you will going to see the rat uterus you will able to see the relaxation and if you will going to see the guinea pig uh, uterus you will see the contraction okay so uh, these are both are the things are due to the h1 and h2 receptors next one glands what is the effect on glands we are talking about the parietal gland here increase gastric secretion and which receptor is responsible h2 h2 receptor okay so this is h2 receptor mediated okay next effect effect on the cns okay so you can able to see on the cns at such they are not able to cross the blood brain barrier okay so at we will not able to see any cns effect we if we are giving intravenously because our blood brain barrier will not allow that drug to be entered into the cns unless and until they are having the high lipid solubility okay that kind of drugs can able to entered into the brain okay so if we want to see what kind of effect we are getting uh, get in the cns we can give this intracerebral injection how they are given in this way ओके सो यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा ड्रिलिंग करते हैं एंड ड्रिलिंग करने के बाद वी कैन गिव द इंजेक्शन दैट वी कॉल्ड एज इंट्रासेरेब्रल इंजेक्शन ओके थ्रू द क्रैनियल क्रैनियम एंड देन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ इफेक्ट यू आर एबल टू सी राइज इन बीपी कार्डियक स्टिमुलेशन हाइपोथर्मिया रोजल वॉमिटिंग 
and all these are due to the h1 and h2 receptor which are there into this particular area especially in the midbrain and the hypothalamus okay so these mostly are having these kind uh, matlab different different centers all these centers will get activated okay because of this histamine because these centers are having the h1 and h2 receptor like whenever we will going to see the drugs which are which are anti emetic anti emetic that again you will able to see the histaminic receptors okay so here like you can see cardiac stimulation rise in bp so that affecting the hypothalamic release of hormone to agar hypothalamus ke hormones aapko pata hai how they are controlling our body's functions right so they if they are get affected automatically anterior pituitary hormone will get affected and if they get affected your body functions will also get affected so these are the different effects we are able to see if we are giving the intracerebral injection okay apart from that sensory nerve endi which is h1 mediated and we are able to see the pain but for this we require the high doses okay at high doses only we are able to stimulate the pain neurons or we can say sensory neuron which after that we are able to see the pain kind of sensation and which receptor is present on this pain uh, neuron that is h1 okay for that for their stimulation require high dose this also point you need to remember next one itching on injection uh, of iv or intramuscular okay so if you are giving the histamine intramuscularly intravenously that area uh, will start itching out okay uh, because of this uh, activation of the sensory now ending in that particular area then autonomic ganglia adrenal medulla h1 mediated so they will going to cause the activation of or release of the adrenaline and release of the adrenaline will lead to the rise in the blood pressure okay because heart rate will get increase heart rate will going to get increase so it will going to increase in the blood pressure so all these are the seven uh, different organ of which we had seen the pharmacological action so this is just a summary हार्ट पे क्या इफेक्ट है विस्केरल स्मूथ मसल्स पे क्या इफेक्ट है प्लांट्स पे क्या इफेक्ट है ऑटोनोमिक गैंगलिया एड्रेनल मेडुला सी एन एस सो ऑल दीज आर दर्गन ऑन विच वॉट काइंड ऑफ इफेक्ट वी आर गेट आफ्टर हिस्टामाइन एडमिस्टर्ड इन अवर बॉडी ओके होप सो यू आर क्लियर